the digi-block placement, hundreds, tens, and ones. Just like the counter, it helps students make the connection between the two views of number, that counting view and the base 10 view. This mat is a little more open-ended. It's more flexible, and obviously, there's no ejection device. It allows the students to sort the blocks without worrying whether or not there are more than nine blocks of any size. In this problem, we have placed on the mat two blocks of 10 and 14 single blocks. To tell what this number is in base 10, we must pack as much as possible. Let's pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The tenth block is in. The top goes on and we move it over to the tens column because it's now a block of ten. We can clearly see that we have three blocks of ten, four single blocks, and now we can place these flip cards to see that number, 34. In base 10, we have digits only up to nine. If we hadn't packed, we would not have had a digit to represent the number of single blocks.